Let's see how we can solve this differential equation. We have dy dx is equal to 1 over e to the 4y, and then we have the plus 2x after that. Hmm. If I multiply this on both sides and try to separate the variables, it is not going to work because we have e to the 4y plus 2x. I cannot factor out all the y's together, all the x together. You can try that. And um, we have dy dx right here. And we don't have the y on the side. It's not like this, right? We have the dy dx, but we don't have p of x plus y because we have this in the denominator and um, this is also with it. Hmm. Not so much like the linear differential equation either. However, wouldn't it be nice if I don't have this in the denominator? Can I do that? Let's see. So here is the deal. What if instead of looking at this as dy dx, let's reverse the rule. So I will be looking at this as dx dy. All in all, we are just going to be taking the reciprocals on both sides. And let's see what we get after that. On the left hand side, we will have dx dy. And this will be, I'll take this and put it on the numerator and over 1, which the over 1 doesn't matter. I'll just write this down as e to the 4y and then we have the plus 2x after that. And now you can see x is the dependent variable and the y is the independent variable. So instead of the general form, right, the usual deal with the dy dx like this, let me write this down for you guys. This will be the linear equation in terms of the x being the dependent variable and the y is the independent variable. So right here, we're looking at this as dx dy and I want to add it with p of y okay this is not match and I want to have the x right here and on the right hand side I want to have another function or call that q of y so if you compare this again so I'm just switching the the, the, the x and y x and y like that right so let's make this happen and we can use the uh, integrating factor right in terms of uh, e to the integral of p of y. All right, so right here, I would like to have p of y times x. Well, it's this. I want to move this to the other side. Therefore, we will have dx dy, and this will be minus 2x, and this is equal to e to the 4y. And now, look at this carefully. This is the p of y. p of y in this case is negative 2. And in our integrating factor, it will be mu of y, and this is equal to e as the base, and we take the integral, and the power is the integral, right? And we'll put this right here, negative 2 dy. So this is going to be e to the just negative 2y. And you don't need to worry about the plus c, right? Just this is enough. You can watch my other video for further explanation, but right here, let me just work this out for you guys. Multiply everything by e to the negative 2y, and this is what we are going to get. We have this times that, right? So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. e to the negative 2y times dx dy, and here we have this times that. Let me write it down as negative 2 e to the negative 2y times x. At the end, don't forget, you see what distribute the, right? Lastly, e to the negative 2y times e to the 4y, we add the exponents negative 2y plus 4y is positive 2y. So this is e to the positive 2y. And on the left hand side right here, this is exactly the derivative and we're differentiating with respect to y. x is a function of y now, okay? And right here, the inside, the derivative is e to the negative 2y. It's always the mu, okay? And we multiply by in this case, it's the x. Do a real quick check. The derivative of this, with respect to y, x is a function of y. We keep the first function and we uh, multiply by the derivative of x, which is dx dy. And we technically add right here. And we keep the second function, which is x. And let me just write this down better. And we differentiate this with respect to y. So we repeat this. And don't forget, we multiply by negative 2. That's the derivative of negative 2y. This is why it's negative 2. So this is great, right? And this is equal to e to the 2y. So 
integrate, integrate. This time is with respect to y. So let's put that down. Here, this and that cancel. We will just have e to the negative 2y times x. And don't worry about the plus c because I'm going to integrate this and put a plus c right here. The integral of e to the 2y in the y world. We repeat this. This is just e to the 2y. But the derivative of 2y is 2. We have to divide it by 2. So we get 1 half right here. And right here, I'm just put down plus c. This 1c is enough. We don't have to label c1, c2, whatever. At the end, what do we do? This is e to the negative 2y, right? We have to divide everything by e to the negative 2y. So I'll just show you guys this last step right here. So that this and that will cancel. Finally, you see that x, and I will emphasize x is a function of y. I'll write it down right here for you guys. Sometimes if you want to put down just x, it's okay, but you want to emphasize that x is the function of y, then you do it like this. This is equal to, we have the 1 half. Here, e to the 2y over e to the negative 2y. You subtract the exponents. 2y minus negative 2y, you have e to the positive 4y. And for this right here, you have plus c. And this becomes positive exponents, so we have e to the positive 2y. So, x is the function of y. We don't see this often.